Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use Cider AI. In order to do so, head over to Cider.ai. And if you're unfamiliar with Cider, it is an extension that you can add to Chrome, which will allow you to chat with multiple chatbots at the same time. So it's very useful for being able to compare responses from some of the top chatbots that are out there. Very cool idea. Once you have that installed, then you can go up to the top right hand corner where you have the extensions icon. And if you click on that, just make sure that Cider is pinned and then you should see the icon here. Click on the icon and then Cider is going to show up here on the right hand side. And let's go ahead and just explore the different functions here so that we know what Cider is all about. First off, Cider does come with 30 free credits daily, but if you are going to take advantage of its full capabilities, you are going to need a subscription. Now, this video is being uh, brought to you by Cider. We're partnered with Cider for this video. And so if you look in the description, you should find a link. And if you click on that link and sign up for Cider, you would be helping the channel out. We would greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and see what Cider has to offer. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll uh, just play around here and see what we have. So we have our various models. And here we can see that we can choose our various models. So what we could do is let's say we want to bring in chat GPT and uh, let's see here. Okay. So yeah, just by clicking on the different options here, then that's basically going to switch the model that you are working from. Now we have, let's see a screenshot. We have, um, we can upload files. We can read this page. So whatever page we have over here, if uh, we want to do that, so that's very useful and can we can bring that in with the chat bot. Let's go ahead and click on the controls here. We've got a few options, artifacts, web access, generate image, data analysis, and think mode. So some neat uh, options there, and then we can just toggle these on and off. So unlock artifacts, enhance productivity, transform ideas into tangible outputs instantly, real-time preview, seamless interaction uh, iteration. You are going to need to upgrade in order to use that function. And let's go ahead and see uh, web access. Yeah, so it looks like all of these options here, they are limited to subscription only, but some neat stuff here. Let's see about generating image. Same thing, we do need to upgrade that uh, for that. Uh, we have a chat history and we can also click this icon here for a new chat. And then down here at the bottom, we can invite friends. If we click on this, let's go ahead and see what the invite function does for us. Okay, there you go. So earn up to 200 credits with each invite. So that's very nice. So you can copy this link, send that to your friends and anybody who signs up, you get 200 free credits. So that's pretty nice. We can rate Cider, we can check out the help center. And then we have, let's see a few options here. So we can write, translate, OCR. Let's go ahead and click on OCR. Click to upload or drop an image here to extract text. So that's quite nice, uh, handy feature there. Grammar. So we could check our grammar that says only English is supported. And here we have ask search and we have extra tools. Let's see what kind of tools we have available to us. So we have a chat PDF, YouTube summarizer. AI video shortener, we've got an AI essay writer, an AI translator, an image translator, a PDF translator, an image generator, a background remover, background changer, photo eraser, text remover, in paint, and an image upscaler. So some really, really helpful tools that are integrated with Cider. That's really quite nice. And let's see here, we have the painter. Let's go ahead and take a look at the painter. And yes, this is uh, really quite nice. So we have an image generator that has some uh, 
standard options that you might find with uh, image generator platforms, background remover, text remover, photo eraser, in painting, upscaler, and background changer. So really looks like Cider is covering uh, the full spectrum here of tools that you might expect with a uh, with an image generator or uh, even uh, some of the more up-to-date chatbots. So some really cool stuff here. Now, one thing that, uh, let's go ahead and go back to chat here. And I wanted to take a look at this here. I wanted to find out how is it that we can bring in multiple chatbots at the same time. I'm just gonna do a quick bit of investigation and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have this handy uh, video here that's explaining what we wanna do. And that is we wanna mention the model. So if we have multiple models that we want to use then we can select the mention model option down here so let's say we want to bring in chat gpt we want to bring in claude and let's bring in deep seek do we also have grok in here somewhere do i see grok i'm not sure that i see grok Maybe that, no, that wouldn't be it. So it doesn't look like Grok is available, but that's fine. We've got some really nice ones here. So let's go ahead and leave it at that. So we have ChatGPT, Claude, and DeepSeek. So those are some of the top chatbots that are out right now. So let's just ask kind of a wild question here. Uh, what's your opinion on time travel? And uh, I just like to ask questions like that. So here we go. ChatGPT is responding to our question. And then from what I understand, we can click on the arrow here so that we could toggle between the different responses. So let's go ahead and click on that. There you go. So we have Claude here and its response and we have DeepSeek here as well. So this is really quite fantastic. The fact that you can toggle between different models and get a, uh, a range of, of uh, perspectives of opinions from the different chat models is really powerful. You know, one of the things that is a fairly common controversy when it comes to chatbots is what is the bias? bias behind the uh, model? Um, how is it that the engineers are maybe injecting their uh, bias into the responses that you get? So being able to compare the different bots and see what they each have to say is very, very powerful as a research tool and just making sure that you're getting a, a balanced uh, perspective. So that gives you an idea of what CIDR is capable of. And I would definitely recommend taking a look at it. I think this is something that uh, I'm going to be playing around with a lot more. And again, if you check the description, you should have a link to set up CIDR. And if you click on that link, then we would greatly appreciate it you'd be helping us out and that's all there is to it if you found this video helpful please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips